Hello and welcome to another edition of Middleware Friday for June 2nd, 2017. This is episode 22 and today I'm going to talk about Azure Logic Apps and the retry policy. The Microsoft Pro Integration product group had a couple announcements this week including the retirement of Azure BizTalk services or what, or what was commonly referred to as MABS. And on another note, the product group also announced that BizTalk Server 2016 has a CU2 released. So we'll take a look at both of those stories as part of Community Corner. So, retry policies. Part of the reason why I'm talking about this today is uh, we recently encountered situation where we had an endpoint that was being called from Logic Apps and what happened was that endpoint was having some intermittent issues and as a result we actually exceeded the retries in part because we didn't actually add a custom retry policy we just went with the defaults so much like a video game um, not all things end well and you do need the ability to retry uh, different transactions. So that's what we're going to talk about today is how we can go ahead and create a retry policy. So here's a link to some Logic Apps documentation. And what's important to note is the default retry behavior that does exist within Logic Apps. And what happens is you have four retries that do occur over 20 second intervals, which really means you've got about a minute and 20 seconds in order for your endpoint, if it's having any issues, to recover from those issues in order to process your message. Now, this may work if you've got you know just transient workloads, but in our case, we had uh, an endpoint that was down for more than an hour. So we had quickly exhausted our retry attempts, and as a result, had a lot of messages to reprocess. Now, luckily, Logic Apps does make this pretty easy to do so, but it was a pain nonetheless. If we would have just added a retry policy, we would have been in better shape. So we can see what a sample retry policy looks like. We've got a type which is fixed or none if we don't want any retry policy. Uh, then we need to provide an interval, and we'll talk a little bit more about the interval in a few moments, and then also a count. Now, the, it is important to note that the upper limit for account is four, and we're, we're going to discuss that a little bit later as well. So a retry policy applies to intermittent failures, which can be characterized as HTTP status codes of 400 and 500. So while it does talk about 408, 429, 404 would also apply. Um, as would some of the internal server errors that should occur in the 500 series of, of HTTP errors. As I mentioned before, um, if you have a strategy, you want to include the keyword fixed. If you don't, if you want to disable a retry policy, set it to none. Now, these are some important parameters uh, to note. So the, the max number of retries you can have is four the max delay you can have is one hour and the retry minimum delay is five seconds. Now I believe earlier this value was higher. I believe it was around 20 seconds. Now that value is much lower. And here is the some more documentation around duration. So the Azure Logic Apps is using an ISO standard 8601 and there's a standard naming convention around all of this stuff. So you can refer to this particular link to see all of the different options that you have, whether or not you want something in seconds, minutes, or hours. Now, as we saw before, there's no um, support for anything greater than hours, so days or months or years would not apply. So let's get into a very brief demo. And in this case, all I have is an inbound request. I'm then gonna go out and call an HTTP endpoint and in this case, I've created a fake URL. So don't bother hitting it. You're gonna get a 404, and then we'll simply return a 200. Not that that really matters. And I can go ahead and invoke this Logic App from Postman, but that's really not sort of all that important in the grand scheme of things. 
This is default out of the box, so I have not added an additional retry policy. This is going to be the default behavior of Azure Logic Apps when I go ahead and hit this endpoint. So sure enough, I'll go ahead and hit this endpoint, and we're going to see that four retries did occur, and I can actually see, you know, here's retry 204. If I go to the next screen, we'll see that it occurred 20 seconds later. So two minutes or two hours, 22 minutes, 56 seconds. And then we can see two hours, 23 minutes, 16 seconds. So 20 seconds later. But in this particular scenario, it's only a minute and 20 seconds from the time I get an initial inbound request but to the time I get in the actual error being raised. Now, if you're exposing an HTTP endpoint, you don't want to be blocking that caller forever, so maybe that makes sense for you. But if you had an asynchronous process, you certainly would want to create a retry policy in order to give yourself more time to work through retries. So for example, we can add a retry policy. So in this case, I'm going to include the type as being fixed. I'm going to say my interval is 60 seconds, and we're going to go ahead and retry four times. Now in this case, we'll, what we'll see is that the, once again, four retries did occur, and we did have a total duration of four minutes. So that's working exactly as expected. Uh, maybe four minutes is long enough, maybe it's not, but you can go ahead and change that, and you'll have up to a maximum of four hours and four retries in order to actually process that message successfully with your endpoint. So here's just the proof. Um, in this case, it's you know two hours, 33 minutes, 24 seconds. And then we can take a look and we go two hours, 34 minutes, 24 seconds. So pretty much one minute um, difference between each of these executions, which is what we would expect. So now the question is, what if? What if I wanted to retry more than four times? So what if I upped my count to be seven times? Well, you're not going to get a design time error, but you will get a runtime error. So when I go ahead and call my logic app, I immediately get this error being thrown back, indicating that my retry count of seven is invalid and that the retry count must be a positive number, but no greater than four. So certainly an important consideration when creating retry policies. So now moving on to the community corner. Uh, let's first take a look at the I guess, retirement of the Azure BizTalk services. So here's the document here. Uh, this was announced on Wednesday, May 31st. And I guess this should really come as no surprise. Uh, Logic Apps has had a lot of momentum from Microsoft in the last well, at least 18 months, um, so not overly surprising. Uh, for people that are existing customers, um, you do have approximately a year or a year from May 31st in order to find a new solution. Um, and certainly there's no new Azure BizTalk services that you can go ahead and create. Um, also do note the hybrid connections. Um, you want to be transitioning uh, to Logic Apps and to the app service hybrid connections uh, before the date in 2018 as well. So if you are using hybrid connections, be aware of that news as well. The next piece of news is coming out of the Pro Integration team as well. And this is talking about BizTalk Server 2016 CU2. So this is different than Feature Pack, which we talked about a couple weeks ago. And do note that the CU is not applicable to the environment where Feature Pack 1 has been installed. There will be a new cumulative update for BizTalk Server 2016 Feature Pack 1 coming soon. So if you haven't installed Feature Pack, then you can go ahead and use this. Uh, you can see that there is some fixes related to the WCF SAP adapter. So that's important. Uh, looks like there's some fix related to the web HTTP, an empty message that causes the JSON decoder to fail. So that may be applicable for others. Um, 
So once again, more fixes related to the SAP adapter. There's an MLLP one-way send error that's being addressed. Uh, looks like BizTalk server now has support for .NET Framework 4.7 and some additional runtime pipelines and tracking changes as well. So if you are running BizTalk Server 2016 without Feature Pack, highly recommend you go ahead and uh, install the CU. So feedback, uh, survey results are here. Uh, still a lot of interest in Logic Apps, BizTalk Service Bus. So that's part of the reason why I'm talking about Logic Apps right now. Um, leaving the survey up, feel free to provide your feedback by that mechanism. Once again, thank you. Once again, thank you, BizTalk 360 for being an important partner of the show. Um, there are still some seats available for Integrate 2017 in London at the end of June. So feel free to check out biztalk360.com and then navigate to the Integrate link if you're looking for more information. Thanks again for watching and we'll see you next week on Middleware Friday.